Good morning, guys. Today, I am going to be taking you with me through my journey of opening my crystal small business. When I woke up today, I wasn't feeling very cash money, so I had to get ready. Um, this is me washing my face, and then I took a shower because self-care is the first part of anything you do, and I just, sometimes I lack that, but I need to start getting better at it. So these are all the crystals I'm going to be using to decorate the candles. And then I kind of had like a rough idea of what I wanted to do in this notebook. Um, so I wrote down like what ideas I kind of had. For breakfast, I had a bagel and some rice pudding. And this is my amazing transition. I was kind of proud of it. And after breakfast, I took out all of the materials I'm going to need. So the first thing I picked out was my vessels. Um, these are seven ounces. It came with stickers, which I can put at the bottom. And then it came with like pre-labels, but I made my own. And probably the most important is the wax. So this is natural soy wax. I think it was, I bought five pounds of it and I've made probably around eight candles. I still have a lot of wax left. So I think that this was a pretty good deal. Also, it came with these like candle wicks, but I did not like the wicks. I still use them because they were the only wicks I had, but they were like kind of flimsy. Probably my favorite part of this process was this part where I got to line them all up and then put the stickers on them. I don't know why, it was kind of satisfying. Like, you can see it's therapeutic. I wish I got a better angle of me doing it, but that's all I got. And this is the stickers on. They look so cute and official, but I hadn't even started like the actual process, which was melting the wax. And I was putting on the candle wicks. This is whenever I was kind of getting annoyed because they were not working with me. But, you know, I got to do what I got to do. This was the only uh, wicks I had, so. I started prepping for the real magic, so I started boiling some water. And then I got my, like, wax ratio kind of measured. I kind of do some science um, and see how much it... It kind of varied. I was like still in trial and error, but these were my first two candles I poured and these are the pink ones. So these were rose quartz and then I was on my second one. This was amethyst. So what I did was I would put the wax inside of this like glass. I guess you, what would you even call it? I don't know. And I boiled that until it was uh, all the way melted. And here it was all the way melted down. And then that's whenever I would add the coloring. So for here, I added a few chips of purples, like different purples so I can get kind of the color I wanted and mix that. At this point, I added the fragrance I wanted and then I put these little holders on the wicks so that they wouldn't move around whenever I was pouring the candles and whenever they were setting and drying. And once I was done pouring the amethyst candles, my heat gun had actually came in. And the heat gun was actually going to help me reheat the tops of the candles so I could put the crystals and the flowers on the top and make it look all pretty. And now that all the candles are done being poured, I could now work on decorating the tops of them. So I started with rose quartz. And here I am just cleaning it to make sure that there was no more wax residue on the glass. With the heat gun, I basically just reheated the top so that the top would be liquidy. And then I picked out which crystals, obviously I'm going to use rose quartz. And I put that and I put 
rose petals and then i basically just did that to all of them i put uh the crystal i wanted and then like a corresponding flower or whatever i thought looked best with the crystal okay end of the day update i made the candles i ordered labels to put on the candles and now i just need to design the labels itself i'm gonna put like the name and everything on the lip. I'm gonna create it and then tomorrow whenever the labels come I can print them. Also I need to work on cleaning this area of my room. Wait that area because like what? I need to put this away. These are like just like a uh, inventory. This look pretty so I can take like content or not content. Well I can make content. <laughs> yeah either in that area or this area of my room oh belly button yeah i don't know <sighs> brb today is the 23rd meaning tomorrow is launch day and i still have a lot of things i need to accomplish first thing though that i'm going to work on today is doing photos so let me show you what i have in mind I'm far behind, but yeah. Actually, the first thing I want to show you is the labels. This is what I came up with. Um, I'm going to change them probably like next time. Don't mind that. My wall is messed up. But this is what I have. So I have the meaning and then rose quartz and then obviously that. Um, and here's Tiger's Eye. So, yeah, finish that. And let me show you the setup. So, basically, I have the candles here. This is what I'm going to be taking pictures of. And then, for right now, this is kind of what I have, like, that I'm going to decorate. I'm going to have them on here. Yeah. So, first, I'm going to do rose quartz. I don't really have any other ideas. Like, I'm not very creative. I don't know. I'm thinking, like right here and then another one maybe like laid it doesn't work like that though like you see because i want it to be able to see like the top maybe i'll just have two photos because some of them don't even have twos like i've only made this many candles that's what's going to be launching and then i want to put this mainly this in the background i don't i don't think i'm going to put that first because it's himalayan salt it's not rose quartz um but it was pink that's why i wanted to put it up there but i don't want like too much happening so i think i'm just gonna stick with that and then put like some palm stones and i'm gonna sprinkle some rose petals let's see how it looks this is what we have so far i'm gonna take some photos and then see how i like it okay so 10 minutes later rose quartz is good i don't really like know what i'm doing I'm not very good at photography or making things super pretty, but that's okay. I tried, and I think it turned out pretty okay. I'm just a little bit um, concerned how the rest is going to turn out because I don't really have an idea. This shirt is annoying. I'm obsessed with these palm stones. They're so gemmy. So gorgeous. This one's really opaque. As you can see, it's almost like see-through. Anyways, so I I kind of want this is this would be really expensive for now. But I want to get a camera because my phone quality is honestly so bad and it's annoying. I'm gonna do the rest of the photos, but the only thing that's annoying right now is all of these petals that I'm gonna have to sweep up off my floor later. I just finished the last one, which was rose quartz. I did a very like lifestyle kind of vibe. So yeah, I really like this pumpkin. Uh, that I put in there. It's cute. So, now that part is over, I need to, like,
do something with this. There's like a lot of just. I need to put those away. But now's the fun part, which is like editing uh, the photos to make them look better. Right now, though, my number one priority is working on Instagram reels and trying to get uh, more quality content out on my Instagram. And so right now, that's what I'm going to work on. I'm going to try and like create a video. Um, I just need to build an audience and a niche and then, yeah. Also, this is my cat. Her name is Mai. Yeah, I have a lot of cats, but this is just one of them. She's so cute. So I'm currently working on some last minute website stuff. Um, I need to add all the candles onto my Shopify and then put like the descriptions and make my website basically look like how I want it to look for tomorrow. I finally finished and it's looking how I like it to look. So um, I'm gonna show you guys, it looks pretty good. This is my second time I've ever created a website, so I'm pretty proud of myself. Basically, this is our front. I have this header here because that's kind of important. Um, and then, so we go down. Uh, we have the option to shop all if we wanted to. And this will take like just everything I have available, right? So that's a lot of stuff. Um, let's go back. And so... Then I have, this is my featured collection. This is what I want them to see. So um, these are gonna be my candles. It's gonna show four of them. Um, pricing. And then here is where you can shop uh, by collection. So you can shop by the candles, towers, carvings, or shop all. And then I have an email list and a thank you for stopping by a little bit about whatever and Kilor. Anyways, so yeah, I think it's looking I think this is as good as I want it to be right now and what the heck. Uh-uh. It was too heavy for me. But yeah. I'm a little nervous, a little overwhelmed cuz like I just, this is what I want to be doing for a long time, and I just hope that everything, well, everything will go to plan. I did this! I made this! I made it! And I just hit my foot. I am going to start editing, and this will probably be my last clip of the night. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and the link will be in the description for my shop, what you just saw on my website. If you guys want to go check it out, maybe buy some things, I don't know. Um, right now the crystals are 50% off, so you're getting a really good deal. And, yeah. Or, um, follow me on Instagram too. I've been making a lot of reels lately, it's kind of fun. And TikTok, even though I'm shadow banned. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and bye.